one nerd and this is a tutorial for uh, using paper.js in this tutorial i'll be creating a very very basic but sort of interesting little tool the tutorial should take about 20 minutes and uh, basically it's uh, we are going to be creating a simple drawing tool similar to paint but in the browser using paper.js so let's have a little quick look at what uh, paper.js is so this is the main page for paper.js paper.js.org um, this explains a little bit about what paper.js is about some of the history etc etc what you can do with it, examples uh, so paper.js is an open source vector graphics scripting framework that runs into a HTML canvas uh, which basically means that it's uh, something that will run within the canvas element of HTML5 it offers a clean C graph document object model and a lot of powerful functionality to create and work with vector graphics and Bezier curves. So yeah, let's just have a look at um, what the purposes of uh, what we're going to be building with PaperJS. Uh, Go through uh, installing it and we have to do it right. So this is the thing that we'll eventually create. So it's basically a drawing tool. So if I click, drag. Create any shape and click in the line by clicking one, two, or three. Different supports different um, line widths, thicknesses. Sorry, uh, you can sort of create like interesting uh, abstract art stuff or just sort of whatever you feel really. So, so you can change the color as well, space bar. So it's really, really simple. This is meant purely as an introduction to uh, PaperJS. It's just a nice basic project to get you on the, on the ground of how to get it running and stuff. So I'm just going to draw it. It's quite fun, quite easy. So well, that's what we do. Let's get into it. The first thing we're going to want to do is download PaperJS. You can use uh, Node Package Manager for this, but I'm just going to download it. The whole thing. I'm just going to the whole. Tutorial that we're going to be using a. Uh, we're just going to do it in the static HTML page. I don't. You can you can probably do this in React or something, but um, I want to make this very fast. So I'm going to create a new project. Let's create a new project. So a drawing tool. Let's call it a drawing tool. And then what we're going to do next is create a folder for some CSS. And folder for JavaScript. And then uh, probably uh, just uh, what I would call a drawing tool, but it's too long. Okay. Oh no, I'm not that, sorry. Don't need that. Let's put in our, let's just paste in this JavaScript. It should all have it. We're only going to use the minified, we only need the minified, so I'll just download this extract. Uh, JavaScript library files, and then uh, all we're going to need is the minified version because there's loads of stuff in there. So it's a distribution, and we go to the minified version. Go back to our root of JavaScript, and we just delete some stuff. Code, don't need it. Uh, and I've got some pre written CSS, so I'm going to go too much. To CSS, all it is is sort of um, all it does is I just want to put in a CSS style sheet here, which is so. I guess the next thing we want to do is open up Visual Studio or your IDE, whichever one you're using. Could be Atom, could be Visual Studio. I'm using Visual Studio Code because that's what I like. Just to open the folder. So you want to open a folder. Let's open up our folder. It's here. Uh, there we go. So we've got the two files in there. So I've just copied across my CSS. I want to create a new, so let's call it uh, 
main, so CSS or something. Start already the CSS. Copied all that in across. Then the CSS stuff predefined, pre-written. There's not really much to this, so I'm not gonna focus on it too much. So this is a CSS file. Uh, that's just some stuff to align the text at the top and the example I had before and then just cut that that's not really that important uh, canvas resizing is just to support different um, views but let's just get on and right so for the drawing tool dot HTML. okay well, let's write and see what happens so the first thing we want to do is just create, uh, this is a HTML file, I just want to add that dot type, HTML, HTML, finish that off, and we have a head in there, we're going to put in all our JavaScript and CSS. Too unfamiliar here, I guess. If you're familiar with HTML, uh, I'm just going to quickly copy across because I've got the source here. I'm just going to quickly copy across instead of typing it out manually. I'm just going to save a bit of time. So there we go. We've got our meta information, title for the Title for the tool, I'm going to change this to main because I've called it main in this version. And then we've got reference to our minified Node.js. That then provides us with the uh, necessary dependencies we need, so the style sheet and the JavaScript. All we really need is this paper, uh, minified JS and it will work. So I'm going to go on to the actual drawing soon, but let's first just add our canvas. So the, this is where all the drawing will happen. Let's go body, put something in here. So we're going to go, I've already created the, so we're just putting some text here. I'll just copy this across and again. So we have header two and then paragraph, which is just literally for the user to see what the tool is. Okay, so we can see that now. Okay, now we just want to add our canvas. So we, uh, the canvas is where the actual drawing will take place. And that's what in the CSS this part here is referring to. And so I've put a bit of a border on it in the CSS just so you can see where exactly where it is. So to do that in HTML5, we just want to go canvas. ID equals canvas resize and then close canvas. And that's that for the basic HTML. So the rest of it is actually now just uh, adding in the uh, scripts for um, paper JS. So first thing we're just gonna do it in line in the HTML. It's not going to be too complicated. You could you could refer to an external JavaScript uh, paper script job file, but it's not really necessary for the purposes of this. So what I've done there is just written the reference to the. I'm just going to sort out this tabs on this a bit. There we go. Okay, so it's a bit more readable now. Okay. So what we want to do next is start writing our uh, script. So if I go by uh, my path equals new path. Doo -doo. There we go. And then first things first. That, so this. What I'm basically doing there is creating a variable called my path and then defining a new path. And 
this will go on the parameters to why we're doing this. So you have a function on a mouse down. So all we're creating here is a mouse event listener uh, within paper.js. So basically what that means is that every time I put my mouse down, do this thing, it's passing an event in. So my path equals new path, so it creates a new path every time. Path. This is where we start to find some style of it. Uh, equals uh, sorry, no, no, my path. Just to give some options to it, like my path color equals black, which my path. And we're going to create our generic uh, like size width equals. Bada bing, bada box. We've got our first function in there for when the user puts a mouse down, and then we're also going to add for the uh, so that when they click the mouse and then drag it, it's also going to it's also going to follow wherever the mouse point is going, basically. So let's go function on mouse drag event again. So it's the same same way of writing it as before. Go my path dot add event dot point. So add a new point for tracking the mouse movement. So that should now, if I save this and run it, any luck, it should. Make sure you save your CSS as well. So now we should have this. And uh, something's gone wrong. Always oh, to be stupid, I just put mice drag instead of mice drag. There we go. So make sure you always make sure you spell correctly, otherwise it doesn't work. So there we go, we've got we've got the first part of it now. Refresh, it just wipes the canvas. And now we've already got like a line drawing, so what's going on here? So the the Mouse down event is called creates a new path, put a path information, and then uh, so new path defines a straight colors black width, and then the drag just adds a new event and it creates a new event point. So that's pretty cool. We've got a drawing tool, so I could draw anything I want here, like I've no face. It's just not really uh, good at draw <laughs> drawing on these. So the computer so it's very basic basic. Mm. And there you go, you can sort of draw off faces and does what it does in the tin. So let's just add a bit more functionality to this. So we want to just add we're gonna account for now for uh, key events. So if the user presses one, two or three it changes the width, and if the user presses uh, space bar, um, is a color to red. So it's very basic, super simple. Uh, so let's add something for that. Let's add a few. So for that, we're going to go tool on uh, key down equals function. That's a function event. And then we want to, we're going to create a few different if statements for this. So this, this is just going to pass through a bunch of uh, conditional statements for, depending on what key is pressed, what will happen. So event.key equals equals one. So if I press down the one button, what do I want to do? So we want to put, enclosed our condition in brackets to just JavaScript syntax. And then we're going to uh, curl the bracket, sorry. And then we're going to um, just change us this. So we want to change this to 10. We want to make it thicker, basically. So let's just make it 10. And if I do save that, go here, 
if I do this now, it makes it thicker. When I press one, normally without pressing and then pressing one, it makes it thicker. Easy. So what we want to do really is copy and paste that and go, oh no, sorry not that part, just, uh, just the conditional, because we're going to have multiple conditionals within this function. We don't want to add, we don't want to create a different function each time. So we have 15, and then we want to go 3, and then we want to go, I don't know, I've done 30 in the example I did before, so I'll just do 30 again, it makes it much, much wider. And then we want to change, well, say if we want to change something different, you don't want to do one of those. So we want to do the spacebar event, so just, the spacebar event key is space. Oh, it's shit, I need to prevent the event. Prevent. Key event from bubbling as well. So I need to have this. Let's add this into each one. Two. And then I want to add my space event here. So the colour there is black, so we want to change it to something like. There we go, it works. Pick a line, pin a line, and get a bit more variation now in there. So that's basically it. That's as simple as it is to create a really simple drawing tool with uh, Paper.js. So as you can see, it's not much work. You just load new dependencies, your canvas, make sure you're referring to the right canvas for the ID here. It's the canvas ID, canvas ID. Add a, f a few event listeners like mouse down, keyboard event listeners, and you can create something equivalent to paint in basically what? Is it 50 or less than that? I stick to it to about 40 or 50 lines of HTML and JavaScript. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's that basically. That's, that's super simple, super easy. You can do a, if you want to like get a bit of an idea of what you can do with this library. Make sure to look on the website. You know exactly what it's doing. This is the example. So if you want this, it's a bit more exact, <coughs> advanced, obviously. But um, you can basically do really cool stuff with it. And yeah, so that's responding to my mouse movement and then just uncovering the image, basically. Yeah. Download it. Have a play around. Super simple drawing tool I've done. The source code's below. Um, have a play. Enhance it. I'd be interested to see if anyone can create a really enhanced version with like more functionality. Obviously, this is a very simple example just to show the basics of what you can do and how to create a basic drawing tool. But yeah, have a play. Uh, I'd be interested in what you think of Paper.js. If you found the tutorial uh, useful, subscribe to me if you like my content. Uh, that's all, that's as simple as that.